In this group of Arduino videos, we are going to choose either an output or a sensor and write just enough code to prove that the output or the sensor is working. In this video, we're going to connect a motor to the Arduino and write just enough code to show that we can start the motor, stop the motor, or run the motor somewhere in the middle, somewhere at half speed. So basically we will have a current flow through our five volt wire, through our motor portion of the circuit. We have a diode here that will ensure the current only flows in one direction. And then a switch will control how much current is flowing at any given time and in turn control the speed of the motor. We have a, on the other end of our switch, it is connected to our digital port, which will control how much current the switch allows through. So as our code adjusts the digital port, the switch will adjust and the motor speed will change. I have opened up the browser version of Arduino Create. So in my code, I'm going to define two variables. And the next one is just gonna store which pin I'm going to connect the switch to on the Arduino. And the second one is going to store the speed. In my setup, all I'm going to do is initialize my serial port. This will just allow me to output some variables to our serial port so we can kind of monitor how our code is working. Hey, for this example, we have no inputs, no switches, no dials or anything. So I'm just gonna have our motor alternate from full speed to half speed. So I'm just gonna add a little if statement in here that says, if my motor speed equals zero, then change my motor speed to full speed, which on our digital port is 255. Else, our motor speed is zero. Then I'm going to take my serial port and just print my motor speed. Okay, and we don't want this to run as fast as the Arduino can run it. So we're just gonna add a delay of one second. Now, before we actually change the speed of our motor, if I test this, We have an error, just an undefined variable. So I just use two different names here for that variable. So I'm gonna make those match. And if I test and open up my monitor, every second or so you can see our new motor speed value. So it's simply alternating from zero to 255. So now that we have confirmed that that code is working, all we need to do is take our port and we are gonna write to our port nine defined above using our motor speed variable. So now if I save and upload that, we should get the exact same result except this time our motor will be spinning. Okay, so I don't know if you can see or hear that, but if you look closely, our motor is moving slightly when it's on and then staying still when it's off. So just to confirm this is working, I'm gonna put a five second delay on this and run our code. 
And my little Arduino kit came with a fan, so I can just throw that on. And now you can definitely see it's on. And then see that it's off.